Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here. We recently finally got the conference for Tencent, and they released so many new dramas and. Um, there were a mix of concept posters or just cast announcements and then there's some with um, more images as well as trailers. So we're going to be talking about not every single one. I think there was like almost like 40, 50. It was pretty wild. So I decided to split it in two parts, this and the next episode. So we can also put in dramas that recently started airing as well as wrap ups. So make sure to turn on notification bells to all, even if you're subscribed. Um, just check it and see if it is. Sometimes YouTube like glitches and stuff. So that will just ensure that you'll be able to watch these two episodes when they come out and future videos. Let's start off with dramas that announced that they'll be airing this week. First is a drama called Babel starring Chin Jun Jia and Deng Jia Jia. This is a police Drama about the detective and his pursuit of a killer nicknamed the Water Ghost. This will air on Tencent. Next drama is The Legendary Life of Queen Lao, which stars Lamu Yangzhi and Li Hongyi. This will premiere on the 24th on Yuku. Next is Aichi's medical drama Dr. Tang, starring Qin Lan and Wei Dashun. This will air on the 25th on Aichi. As for some dramas that recently wrapped or started filming, the one that started filming is a modern romance web drama called Heartbeat. This stars He Rui Xuan and Luo Zheng. Prosecution Elite starring Dilraba and Tang Dawei recently wrapped up filming, and they also showed new posters for the Tencent upcoming drama list. So as usual, I usually go through these a little bit faster and don't go into the synopsis, but whenever they come closer to the air date or they air, then I'll talk about it in a little bit more detail. So I decided this video will mostly contain historical costume dramas in their upcoming 2022 to early 2023 list. And maybe if we still have some time, then I'll put in a couple of modern ones at the end. Let's start off with The Longest Promise and they release a new poster and it seems very in line with their other posters and their aesthetics, the white and the red type of vibe. I believe this is a romance between a teacher and a student. Next is the long-awaited historical romance drama with Wu Lei and Zhao Lu Si, Love Like the Galaxy. Ever since they were in the long ballad, sponsors were rumored and then it was confirmed with this drama that they just wanted to see them in a full drama together. And it looks like we might be getting a premiere very soon, near the end of June or very early July, or at least an announcement. So if there's updates in the upcoming days, of course, I'll give you guys a proper date. So far, most sources are saying that this is just gearing up for premiere. Next is Shukai's upcoming drama with Guli Naja called Snow Eagle Lord. This one looks great, especially Shukai. I really like the costuming on him here. This is a Xuan Huan drama, so it has some wuxia elements as well as a little bit of fantasy that you usually see in Shansha dramas. So a good mix of martial arts, war, and supernatural. And last episode, we talk about Yang Jie's upcoming drama with Deng Wei. It's called Lost You Forever. We finally have a poster for it, even though it's a little bit um, small and there's not like a couple picture or anything. It's nice to see her in costuming. In the other leaks, um, it seems like she has her hair up. So I guess they're filmed or taken at different stages. Next drama is one that I kind of forgot about ever since they announced it a while ago. This is called The Young Flying Fox, starring Qin Jun Jia, Liang Jia, Xing Fei, and Lin Yushen. So this is a very packed type of drama, many characters, etc. And I hope that it will deliver because there's only literally probably like four or five dramas that caught my attention in the past like two or three years. Also be interesting to see Xing Fei and Liang Jie take on a historical drama role, especially since they're both known for like sweet romance dramas. We also have the Shansha romance Chang Zhe, starring Yang Chaoyue and Shu Zhengxi or Jeremy Su. 
I think last year there was like somebody that compiled like the countings of all the dramas that are supposed to air this year and next year and they're saying there's like over 60 shansha dramas in the works so the competition will definitely be high next year or even at the end of this year tencent also released a poster for love and sword starring gao wei guang and xuan lu i really enjoyed the previous set of photos that they put when this drama wrapped up I think Van Gogh Gal looks super cool. Can't wait for this one. Next is a historical fantasy drama starring Zhang Han and Zhu Shudan or Bambi Zhu. There's no official English title at the moment, but in Chinese it roughly is Liu Guangyin. I believe the male lead is the god of war in this drama and they're going to work together to find a bunch of secrets or mysteries. We also have Choice Husband. If you recently watched my Princess Agents cast, Where Are They Now? We talked about Shin Jiao Lin, and this is one of his upcoming anticipated dramas. And a fun fact is it's actually based off of Ashes of Love source novel. Like they're both by the same author. So it's known as the sister novel. The female lead is Zhang Shui Ying and the male lead is Shin Jiao Lin as well as Riley Wang. The next drama is another Jeremy Su drama or Su Changshi. After his success in the Autumn Ballad, he took on a lot more like romance web drama roles, and the female lead here is Meng Zhiyi. We also have some official casting announcements. The first one is that there's a upcoming historical romance drama that will star Jing Tian and Feng Xiaofeng. Recently, this has been a rumor, but it's now been confirmed and filming will begin in September. The next drama is Sword and Fairy, also known as Chinese Paladin 6. They officially announced Shu Kai and Esther Yu as the main leads. And it seems like they're taking all the liberties to um, the Chinese Paladin series. This will be um, the sixth one and they're based off of a Chinese RPG game. The next drama is the original Chinese Paladin remake called Paladin Legend, starring He Yu and Li Xiaoyao. It looks like they're aiming for rookie actors, which is great for them, but um, the original is just so good. It's the one with Huga, and he's in like many of them, like the first three or so, as well as Yang Mi, Liu Shishi, and so many legendary actresses and actors i get why they're doing it just because they're doing all these chinese paladin series and they definitely do want to remake it from the start to gain like the new generations and the fans but truly the 2005 version is unbeatable even so i'll still check it out whenever it does air i think from the large cast that they announced the only person i really know is hu yishuan and I'm kind of bummed out that she's in a supporting role and not as the main female lead. Anyways, let's move on to Fearless Blood, a new period epic that announced Dong Zijian, Liao Fan as the male leads, as well as Ren Min and Xiu Tan. Other than that, there's no additional information, which really sucks. But by the sound of it, it looks like it's definitely going to be more like um, maybe the longest day in Chang'an or something like that. Along those lines with war, scheming, political stuff, and definitely more serious. We also have the first official poster for Mr. and Mrs. Chen. It's supposed to be like Mr. and Mrs. Smith, where they're both spies and they're going to be married or in a relationship. Speaking of spy and Republican dramas, we have The Infiltrator, starring Huang Xiaoming and Jiang Xin. Every year, there's a couple of spy dramas, but it seems like this time they're going for a little bit more mature take on it rather than something like Yuku's Fall in Love or those romance Republican ones. And at least for Mr. and Mrs. Chen, it's exciting to see that the female lead is in on the action as well. We also have the continuation of the very popular Candle in Tomb type of series and this one is the base off of the fourth volume and 
It's called Kunlun Shrine or Kunlun Mountain, depending on the source or website. It stars Zhang Yuqi and Pan Yue Ming. We also have The Eve starring Oh Hao and Zhang He Wen, which is a spy Republican drama. We also have the drama Are You Safe? And I think this is the first time we're hearing about it, starring Tan Jian Si and Rong Si Xuan. It's an action suspense drama about three musketeers. I'm guessing there's going to be three guys who wander around the internet world with different personalities. And they're basically the justice or vigilantes, but for online cyber crimes. And the rumors around this drama is that they'll drop a release date soon so hopefully we get to see it tan jian si has been popular for under the skin and i think it's the perfect time for another type of crime drama of his to air last but not least is probably the most interesting and hardest um, tackle for them which is the three body and this is based off of a sci-fi book i literally don't know anything about this but it looks so interesting i think it's something about investigation mystery science fiction starring edward Chang, yu ho wei and wang zi wen it seems like three body is some type of vr game that the main leads have to come in and discover the truth why there's so many scientists and people just disappearing and even passing away because of this netflix is also announcing that they're doing a remake of this so i want to see which one is better and definitely will check out both of them and that wraps it up for this video that was a lot to get through but if you stuck all the way to the end, comment down below your favorite um, emoji. As usual, all the links and titles, names, cast members are in the description box below. So do check that out if you're interested in learning more about these dramas or if you just want to keep an eye on it on your own time. As well as any links to my other playlists as well as my coffee Kofi page for those who are interested to support me even more. Highly appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.